Wang Yue Ying leaves her home at 4 o'clock in the morning. At this time, you can usually hear a pin drop on the streets of Min Ning town. But on this occasion, people are already gathering in the town square. As the crowd gathers, Wang Yue Ying, the new manager of the vineyard, feels increasingly nervous and anxious. <laughs> The mission she'll come to accomplish will affect hundreds of people. There's no room for error. It's time. The people have set out. Now around half the population of Fu Ning village, Min Ning town, are here. Getting started as soon as possible is very important, so everyone's keen to get their hands on the seedlings at the earliest opportunity. A big challenge for the new manager, Wang Yueying, mid-June grapevine replanting, peak hiring season for the vineyards at the eastern foothills of the Hulan Mountains. Years ago, these people lived in Shihai Gu, a forbidding mountainous area in southern Ningxia. With its high mountains, deep ravines, and barren land, Shihai Gu was once a place where dire poverty ruled. In 1972, it won the dubious distinction of being labeled the most unfit place for human settlement by the United Nations. But thanks to China's nationwide poverty alleviation policies, more and more people moved from Shihai Gu to the plain to the north. Now, sheltered by the Hulan Mountains, they've settled down and put down roots in Yinchuan Plain by the Gobi Desert. Among them is Wang Yue Ying's family. Whatever the downs in life may be, there are always ups. Who knows what's waiting for you around the corner? The eastern foothills of the Hulan Mountains have overlooked assets, a combination of sunshine, temperature, and soil that make it perfect for grape growing. It was towards the end of the 1990s that a few local farmers began growing grapes for wine. Ever since, thanks to the improvement of the ecological environment and infrastructure, the wine industry has been on the up. Slowly but surely, a blueprint for grape growing and winemaking has unfolded. After finishing working in the field, Wang Yue Ying rushes to attend a class. Eager to improve herself, she doesn't want to miss a thing. Mm, Every year, when the grapes enter their critical growth stage, the administrative committee of the grape industry zone of the eastern foothills of the Hulan Mountains invites professors from Ningxia University to provide training for the grape growers. Just driven by the urge to live a better life, the hard-working Wang Yue Ying and other villagers started at the bottom and then got into the business of grape planting. Now, Wang Yue Ying has contracted a vineyard 
and works as its manager. At dusk, the working day is over. No need to go far away from home to find work, and paid promptly every day. Who can say life isn't getting better and better? Transforming wilderness into flourishing vineyards requires the effort of the many, not just the few. It was the wine industry that provided opportunity for the relocated residents and empowered them to alter their fate. Now they are the ones who grow grapes at the eastern foothills of the Hulan Mountains, driving the thriving and flourishing of this industry. Meanwhile, the development of Min Ning Town is picking up speed. Once again, it's the wine industry that's providing jobs for relocated residents. The day's work over, Wang Yue Ying goes to the food market. She's got guests tonight. Most of the residents in Min Ning Town are originally from Shi Hai Gu. They're familiar with each other because they used to be neighbors back in the old place. Times are good, and the market is doing a brisk trade. As the vineyard manager, Wang Yue Ying is a face in town. She's been greeting people all the way. A spacious house and a clean courtyard. Wang Yue Ying's new life is a life of achievement and satisfaction. end of another busy day. Tomorrow, they'll work as hard as they always do. Now, Wang Yue Ying's life is full of hope. She feels confident and assured. After all their hard work, now there's the sweetness of the harvest season to look forward to.